Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna do the backside sword and why? I think I've done this video, I wanna say two years ago, but then my channel started drifting to unboxing and all that, and now I'm back on track with my designer goods. And so here I will list one Dior, two Hermes, and four Louis Vuitton bags that I sold, and I'll tell you exactly why. So number one is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in Rose Ballerine MM. Why I sold this bag is because Yes, it is such a beautiful bag. That's why I bought it in the first place. It is also the very first brand new Louis Vuitton item that I bought with my own money for myself. And so it is a very, very special bag. But the reason why I sold it is because I really don't see myself just babying the patina and babying the azure. And uh, I just, yeah, the azure canvas, it's white and it's just, it looks like too much work. And also, I could imagine when my bag has fully patinaed, it won't look as pretty anymore and I really want my bag to look very, very pretty and so that's why I sold it. I just don't see myself maintaining its beauty. Number two is my Lady Dior Lucky Badges. So in a similar sense, the reason why I sold it is because I don't see myself keeping it as pretty as she is. She's brand new, I never carried her. and. I decided to sell her because I really don't see myself babying a bag. I'm just not the type of person to baby a bag. And so this is a theme that you'll see throughout this video because a lot of these bags are very beautiful, especially with these light colors like Rose Valerie and also with my um, light pink Lady Dior bag. They're very pretty, but at the same time, I just don't see myself maintaining its beauty. So that's why I really felt the need to let it go. Number three is my Hermes. Birkin in 35 in uh, black and gold hardware and in what's the leather again? Ardennes. And so I had to let this one go because it is it is actually my first Hermes Birkin. I was so excited when I received it. I thought I just reached like a level up milestone or I hit a next level in life. But honestly, receiving it, it wasn't really that different and it's just a bag. And so in my Birkin regret video, I also talked about why I sold this bag. But long story short, I sold this bag because the size just did not work for me. I was too stupid to think that my five foot three figure could hold a 35 bag and not be drowned by it. I was wrong. I cannot hold a 35 bag. So that's why I sold it. And in a similar sense, my fourth bag is also an Hermes bag and it is my Hermes Kelly 35 in Togo Noir gold hardware that I just bought not too long ago and I sold it because again 35 is a size that does not work for me but at the time it was just just a feeling that I cannot reject an Hermes Kelly offer from Paris from the sub store and the feeling of I am so happy that I got offered that I did not turn the offer down but eventually I had to sell the bag because it just did not work for me and I just see it quietly sadly sitting in my closet not being used so that's why I sold it and next I want to talk about Louis Vuitton item and it is my Louis Vuitton Papillon 30 so I sold this bag because I actually wanted to buy it as a replacement to my speedy but as with every other item in life at least in my experience, if you want to buy a replacement item, that usually does not work because you'll still end up wanting the real deal. And so I bought the balloon bag thinking it is not as oversaturated and it is still similar to the Speedy bag, but I end up getting the Papillon bag and I still crave for the Speedy. And so kind of useless, I bought it and sold it because I still wanted the Speedy and I don't need a speedy replacement in my life. Number five is my Louis Vuitton Keep All Bandolier. And uh, this is a bag that I thought I'd use a lot. And uh, this is the bag that I thought I'd use a lot when I travel, but I actually did not because it is just a hassle to pack clothes and clothes tend to get crumbled and you have to pack it in a certain way and it's just too much work. And I also want to be more under the radar and stay safe when I travel and having a Louis Vuitton luggage is not the safest or most low key thing that you can do when you travel. And since I do a lot of solo traveling, I just don't want to carry a really obnoxious luggage with Louis Vuitton written all over it when I travel. And so that's why I ended up selling that bag. Number seven is my Louis Vuitton Pachette Matisse. 
This might be a surprise to some people because it is such a popular bag but I wanted to sell mine because after I got the bag and I imagined a million ways to use it and when I got home I compared it with the stuff that I usually have to bring which is my laptop, like my small uh, Surface Pro which I thought would fit into the Pochette Matisse but of course it did not fit and also some of the notebooks that I tend to bring and also my agenda and I just I couldn't see myself using it for anything else and on my lighter workload days I tend to use my Eva clutch and it works perfectly well for just a phone and a wallet it's just the perfect size but uh, for my heavier load days my heavier workload days I tend to bring my Neverfull which fits a laptop and my planner and everything else maybe a cardigan or a scarf but for my Pochette Matisse it's just such an awkward size that it is bigger than a light workload day bag but also smaller than what I really need to bring when I have more work to do. So it is just such an awkward size that I, I decided to let it go. And yeah, no regrets at all. I am very happy that I found a new home. And I also sold it at the prime time when it's like super popular and everyone wanted one and I got mine in on prime. And so yeah, I'm glad I found a good home. And so here's a bonus item, it's my Louis Vuitton balloon bag, I've been wanting to sell it for the past, I don't know, year or so, and it's like on and off selling, sometimes I would sell it, sometimes I would like forget about it, but at the same time I just really want to sell it because it is such, what's with all the planes? It's a helicopter, did someone go missing? Were they trying to find me? The balloon bag is so classy and you can wear it on your shoulder as a shoulder bag and also crossbody. I just don't know why it's so hard to sell. And again, why I'm selling this bag is because just like the Pochette Matisse, it is not a size that works with my personal lifestyle and I just don't see myself using it. And time has proven that I have not reached for that bag at all in the past two years of me owning it. And so that's why I'm selling it and I really want to find a good home for it. And please, like if anyone, anyone can please buy this bag, get this off my hands because I don't want to see it any longer. It's just so frustrating. I keep getting these buyers and they seem super interested and they're just like, can I please buy this bag? I am super interested. And they try to bargain you and lowball you and say, can I buy this bag for 200 bucks? I'm like, what? 200 bucks? You kidding me? And so my heart is broken and then, and then all these false promises and I just don't know why this bag is such a nightmare to get rid of. Yeah. That sounds really bad. Maybe it's my attitude that is preventing this bag from selling. But still, please, just sell a balloon bag. Please, I, I beg you. But yeah, these are all the bags that I've sold and why and also one bonus bag that I am selling and I really wish that it can like be sold, like please. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and also hit that bell button so you can receive my daily upload notifications. And yes, I upload every single day. I'd love it if you visit my other videos and also subscribe and also hit that bell button. And yes, there's a lot of things that you have to do, but just do it for the fact that I'm recording at midnight and I work tomorrow at 5 a.m. And I just, I just want to make this video okay. I love you. Hope you are having a wonderful day or night and see you in my next video. Bye.